Welcome to the SureSight Basics and Introduction. Today we're going to look at some of the basic functions on the site and the installation of a magnification lens. In episodes to follow, we'll be having a look at the graphical user interface program as well as setting up various arrow weights. To turn the site on, you press the power button. The site will run through a quick diagnostic check to make sure the full display is working. It will also display your current shooting program, which in this case is 90. This is the default shooting program. It will then display your 20-yard shooting pin. No matter what program you have selected, the site will always present you with a 20-yard shooting pin when turned on. This pin will remain on until you range a target or manually input an alternate distance. This whole boot up process takes less than 7 seconds. To take a range and set a new shooting pin, you press and hold the trigger button, put the green laser onto the target and then release. You'll instantly be given a shooting pin for that distance. So, we can see that using a sure sight is fast and easy. And if you have selected the correct shooting program, you could be accurate up to 120 yards. However, if you can't use a rangefinder or a laser, there might be a regulation or there another reason that you can't use the rangefinder. You can manually input a shooting pin and I'll show you how to do that now. A quick press on the F2 button will bring up your 40 yards on your display, which is sort of a good average distance to shoot at. If you press the trigger button now, your 40 yard pin will appear. You can scroll up with your F2 button or scroll down with your F1 button. When you have the desired range, you press your trigger button and that distance shooting pin will be displayed. To change your shooting program, it's very similar, except now you press and hold F2 for at least one second. This time, your shooting program will be displayed, which in this case is 90. You can scroll up by using F2 and scroll down by using F1. When you have the desired shooting program, you press your trigger button and that selected program will flash three times as confirmation. Now every time you turn your sight on, that new shooting program will be loaded and displayed. Remember that if you have changed your shooting program, you need to range the target again and you'll get a new shooting dot for that program. Hold the trigger button when the lasers on the target release and you'll instantly be given a shooting dot. To increase the brightness of your shooting dot or your shooting pin, you press F1. For every time you press F1, it will get brighter until it gets to 100% and then starts over at the beginning. If you don't have 2020 vision anymore, you'll find that a lens will dramatically improve your sight picture and change your game. To install the lens, you take out one, two, three, four screws and remove the C-plate cover. You fit the lens with the convex side facing you, fit the C-plate cover, replace your four screws and that's it, your lens is installed. Yeah, you can see the difference the lens makes to your sight picture. Some people, depending on your eyes, may need to use a clarifier in conjunction with the lens. Remember that if you install a lens, you would need to do a 20-yard setup again and then select the correct shooting program. Watch the next video on installing the user interface program.